When the hungry hussy makes a dish that you just cannot pass up, yes, you don't. Mr. The Hussy. <laughs> Mr. The Hussy himself. Matthew H. Hussy. That's right, Matthew Hungry Hussy. Hungry's his middle name. Yeah, or could be, I like call him Mr. The Hussy. Mr. The Hussy, but we did know him before, before he, he was, was hungry. hungry. That's right. That is not true. Not we love Matt, and uh, this is a shout out video to him. We are so excited to give our take on his crack slaw. You want to see us knock that one out? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. All right, Cannon, I'm handing the baton on to you. We're going to get right over to it. Brett, while we're switching gears and getting to the griddle, which we're both going to be cooking, yep. why don't you talk about the groceries? Just mention a couple because we're throwing everything but the kitchen sink in Just this one. Just like our Asian cooks, there are a lot of uh, ingredients in here, but they're so easy. So the start of the show is this ground pork as well as this coleslaw. Some of the other things we're ground putting in Ground pork and coleslaw. Got it. That's right. <laughs> We've got soy sauce, hoisin sauce, uh, rice vinegar, sesame oil, uh, accent, of course, right. as always, ginger paste, garlic paste, and everything else you see right here, but not pictured, butter. Butter. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's on purpose. We've been doing several cooks out here tonight. This is, we're trying to catch daylight, what's left of the light out here for this one. The butter had all but melted. I put it in the fridge so it could uh, harden up a little bit before we start using oh, it again. True. We're gonna share uh, Hussey's recipe down below because we want to give him credit. We're making a few changes. Accent for sure. He doesn't like sesame oil, but we're throwing it in here. Yeah, but he didn't like have it. that. Actually, has it in his recipe the, as yeah, well. Yeah, he said if you're gonna put it in now is when you would do it. He right. just said I don't care for it, so I don't put it in. So Brett, why don't you go ahead and get the oil over there going? We're gonna use the olive okay, oil. Okay, so we got this all on. All right, so on this side, I guess all man the pork bread. That's good enough. And all we're doing is we're laying a little bit of vegetable oil here to lay the pork in. And what you're gonna see is I'm going to go ahead and just lay the whole pork chunk down the way Hussey did. We're not gonna break this down yet because we don't want complete ground. We do kind of want some of this to hold together for more bigger bite-sized chunks of that. So as that starts to cook, Brett, we can let that go. Yep. And then if you want it, let me go ahead and uh, do a glove swap real quick. Better, better. While that's cooking, Brett, there's you, the olive oil. You want me to go ahead and give it a scotch? Uh, yes, are we ready with this coleslaw? Okay. Open? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down some olive oil. Now he uses a mix of olive and avocado oil. We're just using olive because it's what we have. Yep. That's the best part about this bread. This reminds me of when Jet Tila talks about um, lo mein, right? Yep. It's just kind of whatever's in the fridge. Yep. That's kind of what we're doing. We're doing what we have. This is a lot of slaw. Yeah, this is a lot of slaw. Oh but it is going to wilt, wilt down. And it's yes, going right. to get about yep. half that. You want to lay it out as flat as you can. Nice. And I can kind of get in here and help with some of this as well. Nice. Just lay that out. And this is on. Okay, go ahead and turn that burner on. And you can turn it on uh, medium low because this is gonna all be hot enough. I will control the heat. So this is more on medium because we want it to cook kind of quick as we get some things going. Yeah, we want this to wilt down a good amount before we do anything to it. Right. All right, so we're just gonna let this go for a minute or two and then uh, we'll get to the next stage. Starting to wilt and also kind of crisp a little bit, uh, which is what we want. We don't want it to burn, obviously. So now, while this is cooking down, we're gonna start adding some of the ingredients, some of the different things. Now, first things first, Brett. Yeah. In fact, it is high. I don't want to burn it. Let's turn this down. Let's go down oh. medium, medium low. Like it is cooking fast, but we don't need it that yeah. hot. We, and we know and this, this is, right side yes. of Adam's griddle cooks very hot. Yes. So what I want to do is we're gonna. Do you want to grab the butter? Okay, so we're gonna put some butter in here the way Hussey did. <laughs> Sorry. But what I'm doing is anytime we do these Asian cooks, Brett, go ahead and mix that a little bit. We don't want to burn the garlic, but we want to get it cooking. So I'm going to get uh, about, what would that be? Three, uh, we want about three. I know he does too. We're doing three um, garlic cloves worth. And then also I'm going to do about a tablespoon or a half tablespoon worth of ginger. ginger. And we can add more. Uh -huh. Now add. We're, we're going to mix that yeah. first and then we're going to pull that in. There you go. So we're going to cook this up just a little bit, kind of let it get hot. And then we're going to introduce and start the flavors going. All right, Brett, you know what? I'm going to flip me some pork. All right. Pork. Look at that starting to cook through. And then partway through this, I'll start chopping this and breaking that down. Feel good about this? Ready to introduce yeah. it? Yeah. Go ahead and introduce that. And now you really, 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 yeah, want to, oh, you smell that ginger cannon. So good. Okay. There we go. All right. We're going to fan it so back out. Yeah. We're going to fan it back, back out because we're still trying to get that cooked down. And all right, so I'm going to start cutting this down. Basically, just kind of start breaking this up just a little bit.
All right. All right. All right. We're just gonna start cooking and chopping this down. So next, we'll introduce the the ground uh, the ground pork here, and then we'll start getting all the flavors in. We're gonna hit this uh, hit the pork pork with some salt and some pepper. And everything is gonna be to taste after this. We will add flavors as we need. But look, you, I don't know if you can tell, Brett, but you can start see. I mean, we can tell. Right. If you can tell on screen, but this is really cooked. Yeah, this is yeah, down about a third. Had, yeah, we had it all the way top to bottom, left to right to halfway through this griddle. And now, even spreading out, it's about a half that. Let's go okay. ahead and hit it to low because it is starting to darken. There we go. Now we're controlling the heat. This will remain really hot. So we're gonna keep cooking this here. Here we go. All right. So while the pork is finishing, Brett, yep. let's go ahead and get some soy sauce. Some hoisin sauce went first. And we're gonna add some accent as well. Here comes our hoisin sauce. We're doing about a tablespoon, two tablespoons worth. Yeah. <laughs> soy sauce. That's okay. Soy sauce. We're gonna do a little bit more. Now we use the low sodium coin, so we can use a little bit more of this. We're looking at two or three tablespoons. And everything is gonna be to taste, so we can add more as needed. Closer to a quarter cup. Now, Brett, this is also where I would add some accents. Accent! You add an accent to it. <laughs> my, my gloves are slippery, so I'm worried about dropping this. There we go. Okay, so I want this about 80% cooked before we introduce it. It will continue to cook. But right now we're about 50 to 60% of the way done, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna keep going. All right, so Brett just made the point. I got two big bags because I, I thought we'd, we'd be perfect. We knew it was gonna sweat down. We're only gonna use a portion of the pork. How about half of it? Yeah, and the half of it, and we'll, we'll, as soon as we're done filming, we'll get the rest on for the family and we'll make another batch. Yep. Brent, I think it's good to start incorporating because it's going to keep cooking. Agreed. So let's go this much. Yep. Okay. There we go. We're going to get all those incorporated together. We're going to add probably a little more soy sauce and stuff to get to get it into the pork and things like that. And, and then ginger. Go ahead and add the sesame oil and the rice vinegar. So the rice vinegar is gonna give it that nice yep. little now, bite at the end there. Sesame oil, a very little bit goes a very long way. So, so that's like about teaspoon. all we're gonna use. Literally a teaspoon, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And a good little couple shakes of this rice wine there you vinegar. Go. Oh, you can smell that. So we're gonna give this a go. And remember, it's gonna be really hot, buddy. Yeah, make sure we get some of that. Okay. What does it need? Nothing. Nothing. Really? Okay. Brett, welcome to every Asian dish you and I have ever made. Right really? here. It's got like that consistency and the, the ginger. Would is... you say umami? I'd say umami. Okay. All right. Got some more cooking to do. I'm leaving the gloves on. We're running out of a card there, so let's uh, hurry and get this wrapped up. Also, we're running out of daylight, see, but this is hot. Man, you can the still see it hot. like steaming. But Brett, there it is in all its glory. glory. Is this gonna be hot? So that we're gonna be bring your face off. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. But this. So I got I got to taste it, and I thought, okay, now we know what to add. Nothing. nothing. Had to add Literally nothing. nothing. I think. Did you add a little more soy sauce, or no? You didn't. No, at that point. Salt. When you ran in to get the salt, bowl, uh, perfect the forks. I, I I add a little salt, just a little bit. Not that would have been. And I would say I could taste the ginger the most. I hope it's not too ginger heavy, but I can't wait to dig. I love in. ginger, so I'm okay. Yeah, with that. I'm okay with that too. And like we say, it can look amazing. This looks. This no Asian dishes. This looks is great. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Uh, Asian dishes. Uh, yeah. Can I get a smell? <laughs> oh my yeah. Gosh, smell. Yeah, you can. I gotta set that down because. But if it doesn't hot. taste amazing, then this is all, all for not. Cheers. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My brother. My brother. Mmm. Shut up. I told you. I did not expect it to be that good. Oh my word. I tell you. I tell you. 
Well, I saw everything that, that Hussey was throwing in there, and I knew. I'm like, we have to do this one. We have to. Sesame I've got oil more. is a good add. Yeah. Yeah, I like the sesame oil, the ginger. And what's funny is this one, less overpowering ginger. Yeah. It is perfect. What would you change on that? Zero. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Hussey, you nailed this one. Super excited. You got to check out the Hungry Hussey. Yep. Uh, we do love this griddle community and so much of what everybody does. And this is a great one. And I love getting to do some of these copycats yeah. when we find a good one. This is great. Yeah, he's done this a few times on his channel, and I saw him like, yeah, I can't wait to dig into gotta that one. Yeah. This is perfect. Hossie, shout out to you, brother. You yeah. got a good one here. For sure, man. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave an idea of something you can do on your griddle, make sure and give it a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook or Smashed. Smashed. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere. Books are sold. Also, if you've stuck it around with us this long, we love the community that does so. Include in your comment, don't, don't get fussy, eat like hussy. Because then we're all hungry all the time for things like crack exactly. slaw. So good. We love it so much and we do appreciate you. Man, aside from coming and knocking out bangers like this, uh, the hungry hussies, we're giving him full credit for crack slaw. Hundo prosciutto. Why else are we doing all this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Yeah.